still can't imagine Panthea produced something beautiful like a flower. She was such a monster. There must be something about Panthea's flowers that set them apart from the others. We should split into two teams. We'll cover ground faster. Not a bad idea. Schnick, schnack, schnook. schnook. What? Just pick schnick, schnack, or schnook. Oh, this sounds familiar now. On three. Schnick, schnick schnack, schnack, schnook. It's me and Mo. You know what? That felt like a practice run. We should do that again. For once, I agree with her. Never dispute a schnick, schnack, schnook. <sighs> Anchao, no! Stay with us! Don't worry, Mia. Anchao can take care of himself. Yeah, and this way we're split into three teams. He'll be safe. There's no way Rixel knows her way out here. Did I mention I flew on dragons under Panthea? They were fast and smooth. I had the wind in my hair. Boy, those were the days. This mode of travel, on the other hand, is unbearable. Terrible for my back and the stink. Uh, the only problem I'm having with this trip is noise. Hmm. Coming from this area. We're moving too slow. Agreed. We should drop some weight so Gerga can pick up the pace. What are you doing? Ugh. Ugh, you ungrateful louse. That's much better now. Ugh. Ugh. Ah. Ah. Can do some real damage. Whoa! I've never seen one so big. What a monster! Monster, huh? Just like Panthea? I'll bet this is what she became. They have a lot in common for sure, but as far as I remember, Panthea turned into blossoms. Yeah, but you can't know what grew out of that. I'd like to get a second opinion. I'll call Mo and Yuko. Oh, um, I don't think you need to. You're probably right. Better safe than sorry. To Yuko! That's a bit better. Your dragon is kind of weak, isn't she? I mean, with a fighting weight of several tons, you would think she could carry three unicorns the same time while running. If it were my <laughs> dragon, ugh, don't you dare splash me again. 